Have you ever wanted to bring the badass gladiator look into your everyday life? In the show Spartacus, Gods of the Arena, Ganicus is a gladiator champion and has some hairstyles that are doable for just about anyone. All you need is a couple small hair ties and hair that is shoulder length or longer. This first style is just a series of small ponytails. To start it, brush the hair on top of your head backwards and tie at the top back of your head with a small hair tie. If you've never used a hair tie before, it's pretty simple. With a couple of fingers, pull your hair all the way through the hair tie circle. Then give the hair tie a 180 degree twist to make another hole and pull your hair back through this hole again. Keep doing that until the hair tie is tight on your hair and you can't make another hole with it. Now for the second tier in the hairstyle, grab a chunk of hair from your side hairline like this. Pick up an identical chunk on the other side of your head and then bring these back towards your ponytail and join them to that hair. Take another small hair tie and secure this hair the same way you tied the first ponytail. For the third and final tier, pick up a chunk of hair from behind your ear on each side of your head. Also bring these back towards the ponytail and secure them there with a third small hair elastic. If you'd like, you can stop here, and you have an interesting half-up hairstyle. Beganicus has some leather string wound around this ponytail, so if you want to be more screen accurate, you can also find some natural fiber string, cut off a length about two feet long, and add it to your ponytail. If your hair is on the shorter side and there are little bits of hair poking out of the sections between the hair ties, using some cord in the style has the added bonus of tying these bits down and making the style look smoother. To add the string to the hairstyle, Feed one end down through your top hair tie. Then start wrapping the string around the ponytail section between the first and second hair tie, making sure to wrap over the end of the string so that it is held down tightly in the finished look. When you've wrapped about half the string around the ponytail, start wrapping it around the section between your second and third hair tie. When you reach the end of the string, poke it through the third hair tie to hold it in place. With that, you have Ganicus's half up style. By the way, just a quick note, if you haven't done ponytails before, it's equally important to know how to take them out as it is to know how to put them in. Otherwise, you can end up with nasty tangles. To take out a hair tie, pinch the ponytail right above the tie with one hand and slowly slide the tie down your hair with your other hand. Keep adjusting your first hand so it's right above the hair tie. That way you're less likely to tangle and pull out your hair. If you do get some tangles though, don't try to comb through them from above but rather gently pull on the hair right below the tangle to loosen it and slide it out. I have more info about detangling hair in my hair tricks video on the topic, which you can find on my YouTube channel. Now Ganicus has a second French braided hairstyle as well. If you want to do braids instead of just ponytails, try this one out. First part your hair down the center of your head. Then draw a line from behind your ear up and back to the back end of your part. Gather up the hair above this line and tie or clip it out of the way for now. Make a second line from ear to part on the other side of your head and also hold the section separate from the rest of the hair at the back of your head. Now in one of these forward sections, pick up a little bit of hair from your front hairline right next to your part. Pull the hair backwards in the direction you want the braid to go and split this hair into three even strands. To French braid, first do one normal braid stitch, which means weaving the top strand over the middle strand so the two switch places, and then weaving the bottom strand over the middle as well. That's one braid stitch. Now before starting the second stitch, pick up some hair from your part and add it to the top strand. Then weave that bigger strand over the middle. Add some hair from your hairline to the bottom strand and weave over the middle. Keep braiding backwards like this, being sure to keep the braid tight and flat against your head until you've picked up all the hair in that original forward section of hair. Then keep braiding normally without adding in any more hair. Since Ganicus' hair is short, this only involves a few more stitches for him. But if your hair is longer, you can make the braid as long as you want. I'm going to go halfway down the length of my hair in this tutorial, because my hair is pretty long. When you reach the end of the braid, secure it by tying a small hair tie to it the same way you tied the hair ties in the last hairstyle. Do another identical French braid in the other forward section on the other side of your head. Pick up a small chunk at your part, split it in three, and weave the outside strands over the middle one in an alternating pattern, adding in new hair as you do so. When you've added in all the hair from this forward section, continue braiding normally until this braid is just as long as the first one. Then tie it off with a small hair elastic. 
That finishes off Gannicus's braided hairstyle from Spartacus, Gods of the Arena. If you liked that, let me know in the comments, and check out these other men's hairstyles from fantasy and historical shows. I think you'll love these as well. That's it for now, I hope to see you again.